Jesus said to the crowds, Beware of the scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in the marketplaces, seats of honor in synagogues, and places of honor at banquets. They devour the houses of widows and, as a pretext, recite lengthy prayers. They will receive a very severe condemnation. He sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Many rich people put in large sums. A poor widow also came and put in two small coins worth a few cents. Calling his disciples to himself, he said to them, Amen, I say to you, this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury, for they have all contributed from their surplus, surplus wealth, but she, from her poverty, has contributed all she had, her whole livelihood. The Gospel of the Lord. God is good. All the time. All the time. For our reflection today in our Gospel, the Lord used the image of the widow. The same as the first reading, to to put forward the image of how true, how is it to be true generous, true giving, authentic generosity. The image of the widow. Now we reflect first the power of. Giving, we reflect generosity, giving, authentic generosity. First, reflect the power of giving, the power of true giving. What is it? What gives you power when you truly give? The first reading in today's celebration, Elijah approached a widow in Saripath and asked for a cup. Of water to drink and ask more for a piece of bread or cake and then the widow answered I have nothing baked there is only a handful of flour in my jar and a little oil in my jug just now I was collecting a couple of sticks to go in and prepare something for myself and for my son when we have eaten we shall die Meaning, after that, nothing. When we have eaten, we shall die. And then, before the Lord's time, during the Lord's time, and after the Lord's time, the image of a widow is the most oppressed, the most lowly, the most uh, taken advantage of. And then, it's very clear, after we have eaten, we shall die. And Elijah said to her, do not be afraid. That's the power of giving. When we give, the power of trust in the Lord, the power of no fear, <coughs> the power of relying ourselves, offering ourselves to the Lord's providence. Amen? Amen. When we have that, we have that power of authentic generosity in our hearts. 
The second, the art of giving. The art of giving. The art of painting. Now it's the art of giving. First, the art of giving is first sacrifice. It is sacrifice. Giving generosity is sacrifice. In our gospel today, let us put ourselves, let us put ourselves here in the gospel. Jesus, he sat down opposite the treasury and observed how the crowd put money into the treasury. Let us invite ourselves sitting beside the Lord and watching the treasury. Let us reflect, let us imagine beside the Lord watching and this woman putting in more and the Lord said Amen I say to you this poor widow put in more than all the other contributors to the treasury for they have all contributed from their surplus of wealth but she from her poverty has contributed all she had her whole livelihood no one can beat this poor lady no one why no one can surpass this poor widow why she gave her all she gave everything she gave her whole livelihood what do we give our extra hello <laughs> Are you there? Yeah. Yeah. We cannot surpass, we cannot surpass this poor widow. She gave everything. But she but us she sometimes give our extra, our surplus, because we need something for tomorrow. But the Lord, there's the true giving, the art of giving is sacrifice. The second art of giving is in secret in secret the first part of the gospel the Lord said beware of scribes who like to go around in long robes and accept greetings in marketplaces to show off and, uh, and accept greetings in marketplaces and seats of honor in synagogues and places of honor at banquets but true giving is in secret amen <laughs> I give this one, I give this one, and we tell people about how much we give, or we give. True giving, authentic giving, is in secret. That's the art of giving. The third art of giving is when we give, we give with joy. We are cheerful. We put smile. Amen. Amen. When we give, we smile. Don't give while frowning. <laughs> when you give, smile. Smile. Don't frown. So, sacrifice, secrecy, and smiling. That's the art of giving. Amen? Amen. The third, the reason of giving. The reason of giving. Why do we give? Because we are blessed. Yeah. Amen? Amen. That's what that's what our the, the widows of today. We give. And after this, the widow in the first reading, she continued to give. She continued to be a blessing to others. And this poor widow in the gospel, she had been that the feeling of being blessed always. She had that desire to give because she experienced the blessing we are gifted to bless we are gifted to give we are blessed to bless that's the reason of giving why we give because of that of that feeling of day to day we are always blessed <clears throat> amen? amen the fourth i usually have third oh i usually have three but the fourth, the ways of giving, the ways, the way, the ways of giving. 
how do we give our time our time our talent and our treasure <laughs> give our time give our talents give our treasure because the Lord will give us that Amen. Amen. The fifth, the fruits of giving. Don't worry, I have five only. <laughs> the fifth, the fruits of giving. What's the fruits of giving? I, a while ago, I said, imagine ourselves sitting with the Lord, looking at the poor widow and other people. We put, and that's it, that's the last of the gospel. We put an ending, like we are producers, directors, or writers in the movies or novels. We, can, we put an ending to this scripture scene. What would be the ending? Joy. Joy! That's the fruit of giving. Sense of joy, happiness, accomplishment, fulfillment. That's the fruit of giving. And you have that. And we have that. That's authentic giving. That sense of joy. Amen. Amen. <laughs>